Okay, what we're going to do today is show you how to install the Malta mod for Cliffs of Dover so that you have it alongside your normal Cliffs of Dover installation and if you have it Team Fusion mod you have all three together and you can use whichever one you wish without disturbing the others. First thing we need to do is obviously get the files and you can get them from SimHQ just go to the Battle for Malta thread in the Cliffs of Dover forum. What you need first to get is from either of these links the actual mod package and uh, then some missions to go with it. These are the first set of missions for the mod. If you download those two, you should get on your PC these two installation files. But before we start using them, it's a good idea to do one other thing to make sure that we have the Alter mod sitting alongside your existing mod and they're not disturbing each other. So the first thing we need to do then is uh, copy the Cliffs of Dover folder and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, we're going to create a separate uh, Cliffs of Dover folder that we can mod now and uh, this is a good idea in case you're going to uh, do any sort of mods to the game. Um, it means that you don't disturb the games that you've already got installed. So go into Explorer and find your existing um, program for Cliffs of Dover. Usually it's in uh, the C drive program files. Go down to Steam. In Steam you want to go to Steam Apps common. They really bury it deep, but that's the folder we want to copy. So we make a copy of that. And you can put it anywhere you like on your PC. I'm just going to move it over here to uh, this folder and start copying it over. And you'll see it starts copying. And uh, once we've done that, I'll get back to you. Now we can go to the files we downloaded. Take the first one. It's the mod installer double click on that and run it and we get the welcome screen click on next um, read these notes because it actually tells you what you need to know to install the mod um, easily most people don't read them I know that so go to the next screen and this is where you choose where to install uh, the mod if you just click next now it will put all the files you need in your My Documents folder, but that's not where you want them. So what you want to do is go over here and tell the installer where to install. And the place we want to install, obviously, is where we just um, downloaded the, or well, just in, put our Malta folder. So for us, that's here, IL2 Malta. So then we click uh, OK and that's where the uh, files will now be installed. We say next and start the install and it starts copying all of the files into our new Malta folder. These are the files you need for the landscape. Uh, it also copies the skins that you need for the aircraft. And uh, once you've done that, well then you should be able to fly around in Malta uh, all you like, but um, we'll wait for that to install. Now it's installed. Now there is a um, instruction text that you can look on, uh, look at, and it tells you uh, again what you need to do to do the mod. Um, otherwise, you can just close it, and that should be done. Now, now what we need to do is create a shortcut to the mod we just made. So let's go into the folder where we installed it. It's my IO2 Malta. I go to the launcher um, and I want to drag and drop that launcher icon over here copy it to the desktop create shortcut here and that's what we um, have done we rename that to Malta you want to give it a different icon you can but that now is our multi mod we're not finished though because 
there is one more step which is very important for enabling the mod and this is a part um, some people seem to miss so I'll go through it very carefully okay I've changed my Malta icon to a Maltese flag you don't need to do that um, it's just uh, easier for me if it looks different to the others now what I need to do is right click on that go to properties and in this field here where it says target under the shortcut tab where it says target you'll see it says this what you need to add is this text and explains that in the um, thread on SimHQ it's a minus sign mod equals desert you need a space between the exe and this minus sign and uh, if you have that put in correctly that will enable the mod and uh, it's this text you need in order to get the mod running once you've got that text in there you can just say OK and your um, uh, Malta mod will be ready to run OK moment of truth let's see whether the mod has uh, Malta mod has installed we'll double click on Malta you see you get this uh, RAF roundel if it worked and it did so uh, that tells you that uh, you're in the Malta mod um, on the next screen you'll also see a, um, a Mediterranean um, landscape or dogfight tells you also that you're uh, in the right uh, place and that the Malta mod is installed and uh, you get this type of uh, menu screen so um, that's fine we've got the um, the desert landscape and uh, the Mediterranean landscape in there if we wanted to we could uh, already go into single player and fly a quick mission and we should see the um, Mediterranean landscape I'll go back now and uh, install some missions so that we've got something to do with our Malta mod so now we take the mission download that we did um, these will be updated over the next few months so that you end up with about 25 missions we've got nine at the moment so uh, we follow the same process as we did for installing the mod we just double click on this and uh, this is our mission pack install program click next there's the readme text uh, which we usually don't read right and then um, click onwards again if you just click next now this will install all the mission files in your my documents folder that's not what we want but because I don't know where you have all of your single missions stored um, you need to tell the, tell the install program where you've got them click here on this button and you'll see you have the opportunity to tell it where now usually they're in my documents 1c soft club and that's the um, Malta mod uh, oh sorry that's your quick missions folder so my documents 1c soft club and there's where the quick missions are usually stored you can use these quick missions with any of the um, um, versions of Cliffs of Dover but we'll put them in here we say OK we say next and we tell it to install start installing it puts in here the um, mission files it puts in also the briefings and the graphics that you need for the briefings and uh, everything you need in order to fly uh, missions uh, over Malta you've got a readme file here um, which is all about the mod so uh, if you wanted to you could read that um, once again people don't always do that um, so that's just the way it is otherwise we can quit the mission pack right those quick missions should be installed now so let's go in and uh, have a look at them there's quite a lot you can do with these missions because every um, flyable aircraft has its own mission it has its own targets it has its own briefing so even in a single mission you might have five or six different uh, sorties that you could fly depending on how many flyable aircraft there are and uh, once we um, get into the single mission menu I'll show you how you can choose which aircraft you fly and uh, then which aircraft um, or how you adjust which um, 
mission parameters you're following. So we'll go into single player, single mission, and uh, we'll pick one of the missions here. You'll see we have nine of them which have installed, and uh, that's just the start. We'll end up with about 30. But uh, let's pick one which has a, a good number of flyable aircraft. You can see on the right hand side here what the aircraft are in every mission. Um, this is probably one of the busier ones, so um, we'll choose the Find the Fleet mission. And this is the button you want, the custom button. Uh, if you just click Fly now, then you'll fly in the default aircraft, which um, in these missions is usually an Axis aircraft, because they get the most interesting variety of missions. Here you can see the different uh, aircraft, and uh, if they're flyable, you can choose to fly them. They each have their own briefing, so if we look at this Blenheim, you can see um, the Blenheim's mission is to uh, patrol over a um, British convoy. You can choose to fly that mission by clicking on the pilot. You can adjust the time of day up here. You can adjust the weather if you want. You can adjust the cloud altitude to whatever you like. Um, or you can fly one of the other aircraft. We've got a Hurricane here. Um, their mission is to conduct a combat air patrol over Malta. There are some aircraft which are non-flyable. The uh, Gladiators are non-flyable. Um, the Walrus is non-flyable. Um, but you can see the, um, the, the mission of the Gladiators is spelled out here. They're just flying a combat air patrol over Malta. Or you can go back down to the uh, Axis aircraft and uh, pick one of those. CR-42 is non-flyable, but the BR-20, um, both of these are flyable and they have um, uh, a mission attached and so do all the others. So each of these has a separate mission and you can fly any one of them. So that's the single missions. If you click fly now um, what you'll see is uh, once it loads you'll see the um, uh, map screen. On the map screen you get your briefing again. In this case we're to proceed to grid E and try and locate the um, British uh, convoy destroyer flotilla. You can see your waypoints, um, and uh, you can see these any time of um, any time during the mission by hitting the M for map screen. You can also check out the last known position of um, your aircraft and other uh, friendly flights. Friendly ships are also marked on the map, and uh, if you want to check out the intelligence on the known uh, enemy dispositions on Malta. You can see here the three airfields, Takali, Alfa and Luka, Grand Harbour and various AAA um, and uh, British locations that have been uh, identified before and show up on your map. That's the quick missions. So uh, all you need to do now is fly.